In this episode, we explore some more amazing abandoned palaces in Portugal. trip in Portugal and earlier today we explored a majestic palace in a political prison. After a dinner with Vasco and Gonzalo we walk in the city and suddenly see an open door of an abandoned building. Then we also decide to check an abandoned palace. Spontaneous explorer after dinner. <laughs> yeah. So he climbed the fence and now he will open the front door. It's in the middle of the city. Really nice palace with a nice staircase, but the front door is empty. It's nice, those uh, unexpected explorers. Then we have a quick peek how the palace looks and then we come back tomorrow through the front door. Hopefully. Yeah. And Gonzalo is uh, calling. <laughs> I'm, I'm helping the pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Sara was leading Vasco inside a building to the front door. Hola. Vasco opened the door, but uh, his hand got cut a little. Oops. Yeah, just one more day yeah. in the office. <laughs> wow. So tomorrow we see this beauty in daylight. It's huh? so only the staircase. We'll be done pretty quick here. Must have been a really nice building, yeah. Yep, let's go out. <laughs> so, so that's what we do. It's also urban exploring, huh? Open the entrances for, <laughs> to make life more convenient. <laughs> All right. Leave it open. Thanks for the scout, Gonzalo. <laughs> All right, guys. Good night. After a long day of exploring, we deserve some good rest. But before we sleep, this happens. Oh my god. <laughs> he crashed into the house. Yay. Oh my god. We heard a big bang and then this happened. It's pretty serious. After a short night, we heard the driver fled from the scene. We examined the damage. To our surprise, the building itself was not damaged. Today we meet Vasco again. The first building on the list is the palace from yesterday evening. We're lucky, the door is still open. This palace was built in the very early 20th century. A new president once celebrated this victory here on the balcony, but now the palace is abandoned for over 30 years. It won't take long before this building turns into a complete ruin. Time for the next location. Another palace and another highlight of the trip. It's a real mission to get inside unseen in the middle of the city. We wait for the right moment and try our luck. While people walk by in the street, we climb the scaffolding. From here, we try to find our way into the palace. We have to be as silent as possible, so we don't attract attention. Many windows look onto the scaffolding.
got in the palace. Now I explore it. This is the entrance hall. Eh? Oh wow. These are great. This palace was built in the 18th century and remodeled in the 19th century to the current state. Renovations were carried out during the 20th century. This amazing staircase is listed as a monument. This place is luckily saved. It will be reconverted into apartments soon. It's quite an impressive staircase, huh? Yeah. The details are amazing. Wow. Pretty good shape also. You can stay there. Oh, yeah. Lots of bird droppings here. There's an elevator here. So that means uh, the palace got some upgrades. Going to the attic. Oh yeah. So, uh, was this a chapel? I think so, because you see the crosses on the sides over there. Here you can see it was a chapel. It's the holy water here. And now the holy water is turned into a bird's nest. Oh yeah. Natural light coming through. These skylights seem to be very popular in Portugal. Here's another example of skylights, which we saw a day earlier in another palace. Even this is in a room you actually never come. Seems to be a big room here, huh? Oh wow. Yeah. 
And uh, when you look at the walls, you can see the ceiling is pretty well preserved. The fireplace there, it's nice. Small one, but... Exactly the same one. Oh, no. oh, yeah, yeah, this one is with angels. Well, it's empty, but it's really great. I think it might be in a bedroom. Yeah, I think there was a bed over there. Great bedroom. Yeah. It's funny that uh, this curtain is hanging here. I have no clue of the use of it. Normally above a bed you have like a curtain too, but... that we are in the middle of the city center. Eh? This bar. Looks like a cheap this door as well. Oh, yeah. It's glass. No, no, this one is cheap plastic. Cheesy details. <laughs> Cheesy additions to the original palace. Oh, I have a few things that are still lying here. When you take a bath, you get a headache. <laughs> oh my god. So many tiles here. Gives it a special look though. What I never saw before is that the whole roof is made of cork. Maybe you absorb the moist. I have no clue. I think they forgot some stuff. Time to go out and explore another palace. Do you know you can... I know, I know. This time, we don't get out unnoticed. I'm at the next location with Ronald. This place is supposed to be fully furnished and decayed.
surprise in the castle cellar. This was not the last surprise. It seems like this location is taken care of, like they swept the whole villa. And on pictures we saw it was completely decayed, so... And everything is pitch black, so it's gonna be hard to make a really decent episode, because everyone can hear us. But we're gonna show you around a little bit. This is what a, maybe the highlight of the location already. Really old bedroom. Check this. with the beach house and the old 
old stuff. Look at this. Must be worth a fortune. Wow. Here's another piano. Covered in blanket. Oh. Okay, let's make not too much noise. Not a nice painting here. This is a big channel I see often with these devil candles. Time for the next location. Climb the very high wall. Impossible to turn back also, so I have to find another exit. Hope we can get inside this beauty. Unfortunately, we entered this location in the evening and ran out of time. Here are some shots of this place. Let us know if you want us to document more palaces and villas like these. The wall is too high to get out, so took the ladder from the stables. <laughs> Convenient. Oh, wait. Thanks for watching. Next week, we explore an amazing abandoned mall and spend the night there.